Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Valerie, and this is The Hargit Life. In today's video, I'm sharing one of my favorite casserole recipes. And this video is also a collab with my friend Jenny Goff. She does cooking and baking. She shows you how to do canning. She does a lot of made from scratch recipes. She even does sewing and DIYs. I'll have Jenny's channel linked in my description box below, as well as her casserole recipe video. So as soon as you get done watching this video, be sure to go check her out, show her some love, and subscribe. And if you're coming over from Jenny's channel, welcome. I love to cook, I love to bake, I love to be in the kitchen. I do what's for dinner videos, recipe videos, grocery hauls, and more. So if any of that sounds like something you're interested in, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and become part of my YouTube family. So the recipe I'm sharing with you today is for a Mexican casserole. And I've also been wanting to make a caramel apple dump cake. So I may show you that one too. Now let's get started. To get started, you'll need some corn tortillas, a can of petite diced tomatoes, a can of red enchilada sauce, a can of corn, a can of pinto beans, a packet of taco seasoning mix, some instant minute rice, some Velveeta melt and dip cheese, some shredded cheddar cheese for topping, and one and a half pounds of ground beef. I'm gonna start by browning my ground beef and I'm using a pound and a half, but you can use more or less. It'll still turn out good. And I forgot to mention, I usually add onion to this. So I have about a half of a frozen diced onion here. I'm just gonna add that in. You can also add some diced up bell peppers to this. That would be good. And try to use a high walled pot for this because when it's done, I'm going to drain the grease and add the rest of the ingredients into the pot here. And now's a good time to go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. I used a paper towel and got rid of the grease and I'm just going to add in a packet of taco seasoning mix, a can of drained corn, A can of drained pinto beans. Now I'm going to add in a can of petite diced tomatoes and I'm not draining this. And a can of red enchilada sauce. making a mess here. I'm going to add in 3 fourths cup of minute rice. I cubed up 8 ounces of the Velveeta melting cheese. I'm just going to add this in. I'm going to stir this and let it simmer just until that cheese melts and then we'll be ready to assemble the casserole. And I'll have the full recipe typed out in the description box below. This cheese is pretty much melted, so now we can move over to the counter and put this together. I'm going to spray this with some non-stick spray. I'm going to add about a spoonful of this mixture to the bottom. Maybe one more spoonful. Now I'm just going to lay down my tortillas.
and that was about four tortillas. Now I'm going to put down about a third of the mixture. Now I'm going to cover this with more tortillas and you can use flour tortillas if you want. And it doesn't have to be perfect, just tear your tortillas and fit them in there. Now another third of the mixture. And if you want, you can just do two layers of this. So do half of the mixture when you put it down and you'll have two layers of the tortillas. Now this is the last layer of tortillas. rest of this mixture. I'm topping this with about two cups of some shredded cheddar cheese. Now I'm going to put this in a preheated 350 degree oven for 30 to 40 minutes. And while that's in the oven, I'm going to show you how to make an easy caramel apple dump cake. And you'll just need two cans of apple pie filling, about a half of a cup of some caramel sauce, a yellow cake mix, and one and a half sticks of butter. And usually for dump cakes, people slice the butter and put it on top. But I found that it's easier if I just add the butter to a bowl and melt this. My butter is just about melted. So now I'm going to add the cake mix to the melted butter. I'm going to stir this and to me it does better this way because you don't get dry spots left on the top of the dump cake like you do if you just put the slices of butter on top. I've got my casserole dish that I've sprayed with nonstick spray. I'm going to pour in two cans of apple pie filling. I'm going to pour over about a half of a cup of this Hershey's caramel sauce. Now I'm going to try to evenly distribute this butter cake mixture. It kind of helps to use a fork for this. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Now this goes into the oven at 350 for about 50 minutes. The Mexican casserole is all done. Now we just have to wait on that caramel apple dump cake. I'm 
going to top this with some sour cream. You can also add some more shredded cheddar cheese or some taco sauce and this will be dinner for tonight. Now for dessert. I just topped mine with some vanilla ice cream. This is an easy and very delicious recipe. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And be sure to check out Jenny's channel and her casserole video linked below. And one last thing, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one.